Hello guys, the Vonya brothers here. I'm Elest. Today my brother is not around, uh, but uh, I'm, with, I'm with one of my childhood friends. Uh, today, I don't know guys, today is <coughs> it's like a low day for me. Like a low day for me. Yeah, I'm going to visit, I'm going to visit one of my, one of my other childhood friends who, was lock, who is locked up. He's in prison for a, for a crime he took part in. And it's very sad, guys. It's very sad going to see him in such a situation. Yeah, because we, we have grown up together, we have gone to school together, and uh, it was very unexpected that uh, he would end up in such, a situ in such a situation. So I've just spoke to him on the phone, and he has listed a few things. He has listed a few things that he wants us to bring to him, the essential stuffs. Yeah, they provide they provide the they provide things in the prison yes, but but there's a lot of people there locked up. There's a lot of people locked up there, so obviously he still he still needs he still needs things like soap, tissue paper. He said he needs soap, tissue paper. He needs uh, lotion, like the essential things, guys. So we are going to get them for him. Yeah. Time is not on our side because it's kind of late. But uh, I'm I'm already I'm already outside the supermarket, so I'm just going to in get the stuffs. After getting the stuffs, then uh, I'll tell you a little story in the in the ride there. I'll tell you a little story of why he's locked up and uh, how he ended up in how he ended up there. So today I'm with one of my childhood friends. I'm with one of my childhood friends. Another one. Uh, he has also grown up with the guy locked up, and his name. Uh, uh, I let him introduce himself. Hi guys, this is Given uh, from Kibera, friend of uh, Vonya Brothers. I actually knew Vonya Brothers back in the days when we were actually kids, and today is actually a special day for us because we are going to visit a friend who, who is actually arrested, and uh, we'll take you through the video. We'll see the experiences here in Kenya, yeah. and I hope you like. Subscribe. Let's go and get yeah. the stuffs. Let's go and get the stuffs. Then, uh, yeah, I think I'll just. I think I'll tell you guys. Uh, I think I'll tell you guys the story of why he's locked up in the car. So we are just going to order our ride from the supermarket. Then I'll tell you guys. Guys, we are in. We are in. We are in. Now let's go and get the the things that he listed he wanted. So where should we go first, given? To go to the where do they put the soaps and the tissue paper? The other aisle. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll start with the tissue papers. Yeah, because he said uh, he said they are they, they provide they provide uh, it's not like they, they don't provide the essential stuff there, they do but uh, it's a struggle still, it's a struggle still because there's a lot of people locked up there. So most of the time you can miss. You can find like stuff like tissue, you're not having stuff like tissue, uh, soap, toothpaste. So we just want to get those, we just want to get those for for him. Yeah, we'll start with the tissue. Where, where will Are we we'll get the... the toothpaste? Yeah, we'll go for the toothpaste. We'll the toothpaste. I think, I think... Some uh, petroleum around? jelly. Yeah, some, yeah, something to put on his skin. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some lotion, some lotion, guys, and... Uh, the, yeah. Some soap. soap maybe. Yeah, soap, soap too. Yeah. For the lotion, guys, we've chosen we've chosen this one. It's called Amara for men. For the lotion, we've chosen this one. I think it's the same one. It's the same one given is using, so it suggested it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's it, it smells. It smells. It smells really nice. Smells really nice. Yeah, yeah. Can you also get him this? Some solid. Or, yeah, we can get him this also. We can get him this also in case maybe the lotion runs out. You can use this, or you can use this for the face, then the lotion for the body. Yeah. What else do you need? Yeah, I think we are only left with soap. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's only soap remaining. It's only we are trying. We are trying to find the. We are trying to find the aisle for soap. <laughs> Trying to find the aisle for soap. I think it's here. Yeah. So we found it, guys. We're going to get, we're going to get soap. Which brand do you, which brand do you say, suggest? 
Uh, I think uh, the sour. Yeah. The sour. Yeah. Yeah. With aloe vera with some herbs in it. With some. Like yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to. Soak. Yeah. For the soap, guys, we've selected this one. Should we? I think we should get him two. Should we get him two or one? One is okay. Let's give him two. Yeah. So we're going to get him two, guys, for the soap. And I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. Actually, I love to check some uh, basic necessities to him. So this is the thing that we have for him. And I uh, hope you enjoy the journey, guys. Yeah, they not allow us to take in food, so this is just what we are going to get. Plus, since he got since he got arrested, we haven't gone to see him because uh, there's a, there there was a lot going on. But today, today is the day, guys. Today is the day we found the chance to go and see him, and we are going to do it. Let us go pay for the things. Then, uh, while you are side, I'll give you a little story of why he's in there. Uh, Go back for the concert. Yeah, our ride is here. Our ride is here, and yeah, I'll tell you the story in the car. We've just, we've just uh, boarded the ride, and we are it's story time now. We are going to give you a little story of why, why he was arrested and what led him there. Yeah, so I think it was quite unfortunate because uh, it was. I think life was going so great for him yeah. back in. Yeah, he was he was a rising star, like in from 2017 when we yeah 2017 2018. But uh, reaching up to 2020, things were going great. He's he's a dancer. He was doing dance. He's actually a really good dancer. Yeah, I was in most of our local TV stations doing dance, most of the events. But unfortunately, when COVID, when COVID struck, most of the events were cancelled. Most of the events were cancelled. The TV shows, they, they, there were a lot of restrictions, so people couldn't, couldn't be in a group somewhere. So most of the dance shows were cancelled because... They, because of the restrictions and the curfew and most of the TV stations he was going to to dance were night were they were night shows and the curfew was imposed so the night shows were cancelled or if they were going on it was only the host it was only the host doing the shows people would just watch from home yeah so I think that's where life started going downhill and we tried our level best to be there for him. We were there for him actually, when he needed something. Yeah, if it was food, if it was money, we just tried our level best to be there for him. Yeah, but unfortunately, it was in was it in 2022 when his house burned? Yeah, it was. It was actually, it was actually a, tra a tragedy back in 2022 when uh, his house actually burned. And uh, okay, I think that that was the downfall for him. Yeah. So you know, in Kibera, most of the houses are just made of iron sheets and, and wood. So it's easy for stuff to catch on fire. And uh, where he was staying, the houses burned down. So he had nowhere to stay. We welcomed him for a few nights, and eventually he found he found another place of himself. But yeah. Yeah, so the previously he was just staying around with us. His house was he was actually just a neighbor. But when his house burned down and he found an, he found another house, it was quite far from where we were staying. It was quite far. So there, uh, he had no job. Remembering he had no job because uh, all that time he had stopped doing dance. I think uh, with time, he saw that dance was not taking him places as it was before because when covid struck yeah everything every show every event that he was supposed to attend was was either cancelled or they just took a few people to avoid being being arrested by police due to crowding yeah so the 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 house that he was staying in the one he moved to the one he moved to i think it was uh, let's just say bad company was around Bad company was around and he didn't have a job. He didn't have a job and yeah, we were coming through for him, yes. But also the pressure was was the pressure was getting worse on his side because he needed to pay bills. Yeah, we were just helping where we could. And 
we are, we are also and also just being there advising him but i think he got into bad company and as he was staying far from us and it's not like we were meeting every day every day we just met uh, it was just by, by what like let's say when you are yeah there was there was time to visit him when you are free or he came to visit us but he just reached a time he was he couldn't be reached anymore he couldn't be reached anymore and we are just we were just hearing stories from the we are just hearing stories from people before the relatives yeah the relatives the other friends that were meeting him they're saying like hey, your friend is not okay your friend is doing this your friend is into drugs and that time yeah he had lost his phone also when the house burned a few days later i don't know where his phone went so we couldn't reach him via phone and we couldn't find him at his place we were just hearing stories just hearing stories that yeah he, he has gotten into bad company he's doing a lot of drugs uh, they are getting they are robbing people yeah we tried catching up to him a few times talking to him and there was a time we sat down and decided and uh, decided let's 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 join hands together and try to maybe set up something for him like a business and we called him he came we asked him what he would like to do and it's, i think he said he wanted to open he wanted to oh, yeah he wanted to open a boutique yeah like a mm. boutique to sell shoes it was it was like to sell shoes and uh, and yeah and clothes so you are putting money together you are putting money together uh, to to start up that small business for him so that he can he can get off the streets because yeah now it was getting worse the stories were everywhere police were coming for him and this wasn't this wasn't good for us yeah, because uh, it was re we, we were just sitting down and thinking all the the way we've grown up together the things we've done together and now we are hearing stories like this from him it wasn't it, it wasn't a good picture to us so yeah, we started putting money together, trying to help him. Yeah, but again, the he went. Uh, I think he was with other guys, and they they robbed a house somewhere. They went to a house and they broke in. They took some stuffs, and police came for him again. And people people came for him. They, you know, in, let me tell you a story about the about crime in Kibera. In Kibera, one thing when you get caught. When you get caught stealing or taking someone else's stuff, what happens given? Actually, there's two options. One is mob justice, or the second, you actually be, you, you actually be arrested. Yeah. One is mob justice, the second one is you get arrested. Yeah. And in most cases, what happens? In most cases, the stories that we heard, others we've actually witnessed, is that uh, a lot of uh, youths actually uh, they go for option B, and that is mob justice. It's yeah. really real thing for them, yeah. Yeah, in Kibera, people take, uh, in most cases, people take action in their own hands. They will do mob justice. Mob justice, in this case, they will stone you to death. They will ban you when you get caught stealing. You'll get banned. Yeah, yeah. You'll get banned alive. They will stone you. Like, bad things, you'll get killed. You'll get killed. Like, police will, police will just come later on when you're already dead. You've already been burned to ashes. We weren't, we weren't happy to continue with the story. We weren't happy thinking that maybe one day he'll get caught and they will they will burn him and we'll just be called by people and told that your friend has been killed somewhere or he has been stoned, he has been stoned to death, he has been burned alive. So we didn't want that to happen to him. That's why we were that's why we were trying to put up some money together and open up a, like a business for him, the one he wanted. Yeah, but reaching him reaching him was very hard and sometimes talking to him due to the drugs he was using sometimes talking to him was also very hard because he was taking it like uh, like according to me i think talking to him he was feeling like we are judging him or something so he would avoid us most of the times he would avoid us most of the time he wouldn't talk to him and it was really hard to reach to him because we tried even the fam talking to the family telling him this, this and that, because we thought maybe family is closer, uh, he, would, he would listen to them because it was becoming kind of hard for him to, to listen to us. Due to that, he, was, he started now, he got into these hard drugs, hard drugs, the cocaine, and he was doing a lot of food, so he got into hard drugs. And 
most of the time you would meet him in the street it was not him like he, it was him yes but uh, you could tell in the head it was not him like he didn't know who you are you just look at you you talk to him and like he's in in, in his own world so but luckily luckily from I, I think I'll just say luckily because he was not he was not killed was not thrown to death late last year late last year when the yeah when the crime happened they robbed someone I think they robbed and that guy was also stabbed they took his phone and I think the guys they were with they also stabbed the guy and the guy knew them the guy that was robbed knew them so instead of instead of reporting to the we call them the guys that do mob justice in Kibera we call them the team building the guy went to the police and the police came for our friend and he was arrested and he has been in jail since late last year yeah since late last year until now he has been is it is it jail or is it prison yeah it's a it's a it's a remand it's a remand prison it's just being held there while the case continues while the case continues yeah he has gone to court a few times but uh, the victim the victim hasn't been appearing and so he was he was just being taken back to the remand prison. It's a prison called the industrial area prison. And that's where we are going, that's where we are going today. Yeah, we are going to, see, it has been months, we are going to see him. Yeah, and hopefully if they allow us, we'll record our conversation with him inside. But if they won't allow us to film inside, we'll just go see him, talk to him. Then we'll tell you guys how it went when, when we get out, when we get out. Yeah, like I, I was 50-50, today I was given is the one that has managed to convince me to go. Yeah. We were thinking of going for the longest time, but uh, I, I think I think just today was the day. I was 50-50 because I'm like, how will, how will he react? How will he, like, it's just hard. And for me, I also, to see him in such a situation, in such a situation, knowing that this is someone I've grown up with, this is... This is like family, so it has been really hard for me to come up to to just accept like this is how it is and now, yeah. But finally, let's go and see him, see how it goes. I will have a conversation with him. Yeah, we we'll see if uh, the guys there will allow us to record a video of us uh, talking with him. Uh, um, if the guys will actually allow, will actually will actually share with us some ideas on how the life it is inside the prison, the challenges that he's passing at prison, and uh, he'll tell us what next. Maybe his mindset has changed, maybe he's a changed person through the experiences at the prison. We'll actually learn a lot when uh, we reach there. Yeah. yeah, hopefully guys, we just hope like like his mindset has changed. Yeah, we just hope when we get there, he'll be a different person. The, the person we knew before the drugs and the crime, we just hope that. That will be the case because that will make us so happy because yeah we'll know like he has what will you say he has like uh, transformed he has reformed into a into a new person yeah, sure. yeah because crime in Kibera is one of the things that uh, what will you say it's, a, it's it's like people like most of the youth there due to lack of jobs yeah we all know we all know in Kenya to find to find a job like these days is connection yeah. yeah nobody yeah there are some companies that care about your papers but in most cases it's just connections it's uh, who you know and not what what level of education you go to if you know someone in the company you get the job if uh, like it's just really hard without connection we call them connections yeah knowing someone that's how you get a job easily yeah, and you find that most of the youth in Kibera, the connections are not there. So most of them go for the easiest way, to, according to them, for the easiest way to find the, find the money, to make money quick. And that is why they get into crime. Get into crime. Yeah, they see like robbing someone is easier than going to, to building after building after building, looking for a job that you don't even know if you get. Yeah, and I'm speaking this from like from from an experience, like from experience. Yeah, getting a job in Kenya, getting a job uh, like uh, it's, it's very it's very hard. It's a hard process.
it's a hard process. You can be lucky, take your papers somewhere and get employment, but in most cases, like I've said, it's just connection. Yeah, so guys, uh, we are uh, we are a few. Uh, I think we are like twenty minutes. Yeah, it's actually uh, ten minutes. To... Yeah, we are like ten minutes to to the place. And yeah, let's get there and see. We just hope that they let us feel inside. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So yeah, stay with us. Stay with us, guys. Yeah, we'll stay actually take you through the trip. Take you to yeah. yeah you see the view of Nairobi. This is Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah. yeah. It's actually our capital city. Yeah, we are at we are at the we are in town. We're like in Nairobi town. Yeah, capital city the, Kenya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in the what we yeah we, we are in town. You can see it's different from Kibera. The the environment is clean. The the what there's some nice buildings around. You can see there are some nice buildings around. Yeah, different from where we come from. So, yeah, come with us, guys. Sorry, the video is so shaky. Yeah, the roads are bumpy. The roads are bumpy, and there's uh, some potholes on the road. That's why you can see the video is not that steady. Yeah, so uh, don't mind, don't mind my, don't mind it being so shaky. Yeah, but this is yeah, this is Nairobi town, guys. So. I've just gotten back home and the day didn't go as I thought it would for me because when we got there we arrived at the place and uh, we entered we entered the prison and I asked I went in, I went to ask some of the 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 police inside the yeah this I think the, the police prison, in there. Yeah. I went to ask some of the police inside that they get if we were allowed to film, if we were allowed to film inside while we visit our friend, but we were told we are not allowed to film inside. Yeah, then they were saying once you get inside the gate, uh, there's a place where you are supposed to surrender your phone, leave your phone there. Then after you visit, uh, you visited your loved one, you you'll collect your phone later. So we went and that the reception. We were leaving our names at the reception. You leave your, the name of your of the guy you've come to visit. You leave the name there. Then you go outside. There was a place where you, people were sitting. You go outside, sit there, wait for the name for the name of your of the guy you've come to see to be called, or of your loved one to be called. Then you get inside. They take you where the person is. Yeah, so since the guy said we were not allowed to film inside, specifically said inside, so when you got outside the gate, when you got outside the gate, uh, ah, so I was taking a small video, I was taking a small video to show, I was taking a small video to show you guys that we are, we are at the gate, we are waiting for, we are waiting for the name of, of our friend to be called so that we can go inside and see him. Yeah, so I was just taking a small video from outside since we were told inside we couldn't film and we couldn't get with the in win with the phone through the gate. Yeah, so I'm filming a small I'm filming a small video for you guys and took the the two the two the two cops the two cops that told me I was not supposed to film inside. The, one of them came with another 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 person. One of them came with another person and and ask me what i'm doing on my phone and told me to open the camera ask me if i was filming and uh, i told them i told them i was filming since they said we can't film inside so i was making a small video outside and the guy asked to see the video i showed him the video i was filming the gate and where the people were sitting the guy asked to see the video I gave I gave him the phone. He after seeing the video he told me you are not supposed to record, you are not supposed to record. I told you don't record. I told him you said we can't record inside but once uh, but outside but outside we could when we asked. So they took me, they took they took me to another room, then later called given us left outside but they later called him inside. And they told us to sit down, to sit on the floor. They were harassing us, telling us, sit, sit on the floor, sit on the floor. 
don't don't try to sit on the chest just sit on the floor and the, the floor is very dirty so we start on we start on the we start on the floor and one of them one of them pulled out his phone started recording us started recording me while he was asking questions like why are you filming here you guys you want to you are you working with terrorists you want to you want to send this video to terrorists so they can come and attack us he was just accusing us of of stuff he was accusing us of everything and i told him they asked they asked me who told me i could film i i told uh, i told him the exact words that the other guy the other cop told us I told him the exact words guys and that cop came inside that police came inside and he came inside and denied everything denied everything told the other guys that he did not allow us to film that he did not tell us we could film outside he told us that we are not supposed to film totally around the area he said that even on the road yeah so he was telling the other guys that i told these guys they should not film they are not allowed to film here even outside they are not allowed to film anywhere near this uh, facility they are not allowed to film which wasn't the case and i was trying to argue with him telling him i asked i clearly asked you if you could film inside you said no and i uh, we went outside you said past the gate it's it's not allowed to even use your phone once we get into the gate but outside the road it was okay so why are you guys coming why are you changing the story and he was very rude was started calling us names started calling me names uh, like specifically i was the one being mistreated because i was the one with the phone filming and yeah so they were they told my friend you let me see your phone you have no video you are good you, you can go so started telling me that uh, they, they need to they are going to arrest me the other cops the other cops were coming in and asking what has he done they say this is he's coming here to do content creation for terrorists he's coming here to do content creation for al shabab so we have arrested him he wants uh, they were they were saying that i was i was like marking them and telling i was telling people to come for them saying why are you feeling filming us so later my my friend was 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 called back in was called back in and uh, and he was told that he, he was okay since he didn't have anything but for me they took me inside the prison they took me inside the prison and the the guy the guy that had the guy that was with me he was taking me through the departments through yeah he was just taking me like around the around the prison telling people that telling the other cops that uh, i'm here been sent by terrorists just making fun of me making fun of me and what i was doing so he was just taking me through every block every block every block finding the other i don't know it was his friends but the other the other cops and the the wardens just making fun of me every room i was getting in he was getting i was getting in they would tell they would tell me sit down sit on the floor kneel down crouch like they were just treating me bad so finally after after like the after like one hour 30 minutes of me being moved around from place to place and him telling telling other guys what i was doing them accusing me of being a terrorist them asking me why i was doing this i explained to them but they keep denying that uh, whatever i was saying was wrong that no, nobody that i didn't speak to anyone about the filming so it, it was very sad uh, I actually knew I was going to get locked up because they were saying now this is a DCI case this is a DCI case because at you need to be investigated we need to find out why you are making this video we need to find out why we need to check your background so they they took my phone one of them took my phone and he was saying my phone is I don't know just this it was exhibit was saying my phone is like yeah evidence of something so he took my phone i couldn't contact anyone my friend was outside i couldn't call him and tell him what was going on because i was asking them can i call my friend and tell him that you guys are keeping me here and they will deny so 
that one guy was moving with my phone he was commanding me remove the password from your phone i want your phone to be without a password so he could keep showing keep showing the other guys the video he was calling he was calling everyone showing them the videos he was commanding me remove the password remove the password i don't want to see password on your phone in fact you're not even supposed to touch this phone this is evidence this is exhibit so yeah finally i was taken to <coughs> the officer I, he said that was the officer in charge yeah after after a long walk throughout like like now i know i, I know I, I can say i know through i know the whole prison in my head since i was taken through every department everyone was being told what i <coughs> what i was doing they're saying you are, you are bringing content creation content creation to a to a facility you are working with terrorists bring showing them how we how we work so i was taken to this final place to the officer in charge they said that was the officer in charge and he asked me to explain what i was doing why i was recording and uh, if i was if i asked anyone about recording and stuff so i told him my whole story told him i asked if i can film inside i was told filming inside is not allowed like past the gate it's not allowed even there was a sign on the gate saying inside yeah once you get inside the gate there was a sign there saying you can't use your phone you no recording or using your phone past yeah you know using your phone past this point beyond beyond this point yeah, meaning outside it was it was okay i told him about that and he was actually he was actually a good guy he listened to my story i showed him my videos i showed i even showed him the video i did yesterday i told him uh, yeah i told him just my whole story and he was very understanding he was a very nice guy so he told the two cops that were with me the ones that were taking me around showing me how to everyone laughing about my my situation so after i explained to him what i was doing yeah he just yeah he told the two guys yeah, this this young man is just trying to is just trying to make a living as you guys according to the story there is nothing wrong he has done unless you guys have anything else he has done that he is not saying and the guy said nothing that I, whatever i've told him is what happened so he said if I, have, I haven't done anything that is keeping me there why are they keeping me there so he, he commanded them to to release me he told them to release me and they were they were not very happy about that they were not very happy about that but finally i was given back my phone and i went outside i thought my i thought my friend had left given i thought given had left because they told him they told him uh, he can go because he had no videos on his phone on his phone like they had nothing on him so they told him he could go so i didn't get the chance to see my friend the one we had gone to visit but yeah given did given yeah. did so i'll just let him tell you guys what happened since i was not there i'll just give him the chance to tell you guys what happened and yeah it was really really complicated story but i was the only one that managed to uh, to go inside to see my friend our friend here i actually found him at a good state but even though the life inside there it's really really tough for him to survive uh, we've really, really sh we have shared a uh, word of advice with him, a word of one or two. And uh, we are looking forward to visit him again next week on Monday. Yeah, yeah the day, <coughs> it has really, really been frustrating because the police were really, really pressuring, pressurizing us about uh, they are working with the TVs yeah, or maybe you want to send the video to the Al-Shabaab, to the terrorists. It was really, really drama, but uh, next time we'll work on that. Even for the way things that we had managed to buy at the supermarket, only a few things they were, they were access to get in. Some of the stuffs we, are, we have just come back with it home. Yeah, that's it, guys. Yes, guys. So at least for him, he got to see he got to see our friend. Yeah, he got to see our friend, and he, I think you spoke. Yeah, I spoke with him. I spoke. Yeah, with you him. can maybe share what you guys, what you guys talked about. Yeah. Okay. The thing is that uh, he was saying that uh, the case is supposed to be listened on uh, August. Mm -hmm. 
so he'll be spending his time at the prison and uh, he was urging maybe friends for support yeah if you can if you're willing you can support him yeah that's it yeah but uh, the thing is that I, when i was uh, actually speaking with him i can actually see some changes in him i don't know if it's because it's the prison or the life circumstances inside there but i believe that he has really changed because we've had a conversation with him saying that he's really trying to cope with the life inside the prison uh the thing that i, I say that the challenge that is really passing in prison is actually uh the basic needs like clothes he said that uh, when you are taken inside with the same cloth you're actually sleeping on a on a floor like that you can imagine the pain the cold in the night the pest inside there the contamination with people everything it's really 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 tough um, surviving in prison there yeah yes yeah, really, but he has said that uh, uh, sometimes to come he'll be released uh, with a changed mindset he's really really working to work on himself to be the best version of himself yeah that's all and uh, we are still praying for him and uh for everybody that is uh the prison uh, we just pray for them yeah that's all yeah at some point when i was being taken around inside guys i thought i thought he had left i thought he had left yeah. uh, i thought i was going to spend the night there and uh, <laughs> i would say i was i was somehow very scared because i've never been arrested before I've never been to a prison. This was my first time. Yeah, it was so, our first time. Yeah, it was there. our first, first time, time get. Yeah. So I thought I was going to be kept there. I thought I was going to spend the night there because they had taken my phone. I had no way of contacting anyone, even to tell them that, hey, guys, I've been arrested. I had no one. So I thought I was going to spend the night there. But that's not, that's not how it went. And um, so I'm very happy that he waited, waited for me. He waited for me outside the gate. Yeah, I came out very confused. I was like, now where do I start? But uh, yeah, he was at the gate. And once we were released, the officer in charge actually told, told me that uh, if I still want to go and see my friend, they allowed me to go and see my friend. But yeah, time had already gone and he had already been there. Plus, I was not in the right mind to go and see him because of what uh, had already happened. I was. I was really, I think I, I was really tired from whatever was going on. Yeah, too many pressures. I just wanted pressures. to come home, clear my head, just, yeah, it has, it has been a long day. Yeah, so we are, we are back, we are, we are home, and I was happy to hear that, uh, that uh, our friend has changed his mindset and is working on himself. Yeah, and I just hope that's the case. I just hope that's the case that when he comes out, they said he might come out on? On August. August. Just hope when he comes out, everything will be, he will be a changed person because we are still, we are still family, we are still together. We are still going to support him whenever he needs help. Yeah, sure. And we are here for him. Like today, we, it was just the first step of us showing us, showing him that we are still together. And... Things have not changed despite despite the situation that he is in right now. So as he has said, next week on Monday, Monday probably. Yeah, we'll actually go again. Yeah, we'll go again visit. to visit him. Yeah, yeah, this this time hopefully I'll get to I'll get to see him. Yeah, but this time we'll, there, yeah, we'll record at only the gates. I think I yeah, don't know but, uh, if with a distance maybe. I really don't even know if this time I'm going to record <laughs> because. <laughs> It was it was such a chaotic. The police scene. they were trying to uh, put that case like it's very very yeah, big like it case, is you know, a very big deal. Like we carried a, a, a bomb or a, a gun or something. They were very very was talking a lot of nonsense. Uh, in conclusion, I, I had a plan B, and that was maybe to give them a little bit of money so that I. Uh, they, uh, they they avoid this story at all cost. Yeah, because that's how it is in Kenya, guys. When you yeah. when you get arrested for some petty issues or some small thing, we already know what these guys want, which yeah. is which is money. They want you guys to to give them money because they were making this a, a very a, if they were making this a big deal. But I was not. Uh, there were no handcuffs on me. I was not being processed. My fingerprints were not being taken or anything like. I don't know what was up with them. Yeah, but luckily, 
I was just yeah the officer in charge man yeah. I give thanks to him for for telling the guys to release me yeah he was actually he was actually really sympathetic and he was actually sad to find out that 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 was why I'm being kept there for taking a video which he said to them if you are not okay with the video you have just taken the phone and deleted the video at the gate why are you keeping this guy inside here yeah, so he was a, he was a really good guy. Yeah, and we didn't pay we didn't pay anything we didn't pay anything to get to get released. Yeah, because in most cases that's what happens. That's what happens here. Here it's all about money. Money talks. Yeah, so guys, we've come to the end of our we've come to the end of our video. See you next time. Uh, as I've kept saying, more videos on the way. So more videos on the way, and. Thank you. I, I still I appreciate you guys for the support you're showing us, for the love. Yeah, thank you. Up. Thank you so much for for the new for the new subscribers. Welcome on board for the ones that are still for the returning subscribers. As I said, welcome back. Yeah. More content coming your way. So for now, we just say bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have a nice evening. Have Till a next nice time. day. We'll meet on Monday. Have a nice night, wherever you are in the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, and share too. Peace. Peace.